Do you want to place your favorite LUTs in Adobe Premiere Pro Lumetri color panel permanently? Then this video is for you and today I'm going to show you how you can do that. So here is in Premiere Pro, you can see I have already made a project and imported my and this video have been shot using HLG3 color profile. I'm using a Sony camera and usually when I shoot my video, I shoot my video using HLG3 color profile. And when I'm editing this video, I need to convert it from BT2020 to Rec709. And for that process, I use a LUT and that is a limbing LUT. So when I'm editing, I select the clip, then I need to go to window, then I need to select Lumetri color panel. Here it is. This is Lumetri color panel. And from this section, I need to go to basic correction. And from this input LUT section, I need to use a color correction LUT. This is technical LUT section when you are using any color correction light then you should use this section and when you are using any look light then you can use creative section that have some benefit so for that time i am using basic correction section and from the input lot i need to select a lot here you can see a lot of lot if i select a lot it will not work perfectly for my clip because this lot is not made for my video right i need to use a custom lot to select a custom lot i need to click here and from here i need to select my favorite lut and this is my limbing luts and from this section i need to select hlg this one so you can see this video have been color corrected properly using this lut the problem is if i close premiere pro and open it again and if i then go here you will not see this lut option you you need to again click custom and then you need to select the LUT that is a real pin right to use those LUTs again and again you need to copy the LUTs from the directory where you have saved the LUTs you had to copy those LUTs to a different directory and the different directory is you need to go to your file browser and then you need to go to C drive then click program files then click Adobe then click Premiere Pro then go to Lumetri and there LUTs there you will see some option so there you will see three option which is creative legacy and technical the technical LUTs will appear here which is uh, the basic section you can see these LUTs have been saved on this folder if i just enter to this folder you can see these LUTs have been saved on this folder and if you go to creative section these LUTs are look LUTs if you want to achieve a certain look then you can place your favorite LUTs here. So the process is same. If you have some look LUTs, you can copy those LUTs here and those LUTs will appear in the creative section. You can select the LUTs from here. But if you want to use some correction LUTs or technical LUTs, then you should put those on technical LUTs folder. Then those LUTs will appear here. So I am just going to my LUTs folder. Here is the LUTs that I need to use. I'll just copy all of these LUTs then I need to go to that folder and I need to paste it just like that so there the process is done you can uh, just copy this directory I'll put those directory in the description this is actually for Windows user I'll also put the directory for Mac user in the description you can just go to that directory and copy and paste your favorite LUTs on that folder then you need to restart your Premiere Pro if I just go to this section you'll see those LUTs is not added here because I need to restart my Premiere Pro I'm just saving the project and if I just restart Adobe Premiere Pro I'm opening my project then I need to go to Lumetri color panel and if I just click input LUT section you will see those LUTs are available here so here is my LUT which is for HLG I just need to click here then these LUTs have been applied very easily so if you are using any LUTs very frequently then you can use this process to just copy and paste those LUTs in that folder so that you can use that very easily so that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one other than goodbye